Welcome to the Once in a Lifetime series, and this one here we're exploring Colorado. We're going to cut across Colorado on Highway 50. This epic journey starts in Montrose, Colorado, clear across to Canyon City, then all the way up to Fair Play. This 250 mile journey was all filmed in July. So sit back. Enjoy the ride, and the journey starts right now. Okay, we're it's Sunday morning early. We're going to run downtown, do a little exploring around Montrose, and we're heading over to Gunnison, Colorado. seen some pretty cool statues right down here at the main drag. This is Highway 50 as well. Actually, we're going to be going back the other direction. We'll be heading east on 50 out of Montrose. Gunnison's only about less than uh, 70 miles. There's uh, Blue Lake Mesa, all kinds of cool stuff along the way. I thought we'd uh, run downtown here real quick where we get on our adventure, we'll walk around, check it out, get parked here. Cool old time downtown, historic downtown. Yeah, when I drove through yesterday, I mean, it was packed full of cars and the only good time to get down here is like on the early, early morning, any morning probably, but this is Sunday, probably be better. They had like a little park up here, we're going to check, there they are, those statues over across the street. Kind of look western themed. Isn't that cool? Look at it. That thing is huge. Cowboy with his rope. Looks like a deer, huh? That is very impressive. One thing about Colorado, it's all western themed. Bad decision. <laughs> you think? Well, what else I got down here? It's a cool little park. I mean, this is right on the intersection of 50 and the other highway that goes up towards uh, Grand Junction. And like most towns, a little map of all the historic buildings. It's supposed to be a cool courthouse. We'll catch that on the way out. Yeah, I, that caught my eye when I came to town yesterday. I was tired after driving that million dollar highway. It's like a few plaques, people that help keep this thing going. Ooh, big mural there on Ace. Hardware, huh? We're still up in elevation. It's probably about 6,000 feet here. Murals just amaze me. Just the size of the painting, the amount of detail. Look at that, they even painted inside the windows. <laughs> brick in here. Looks like they got a couple vendors that set up. Well, pretty darn cool. I had to check these where we hit the road. One last look at this guy. What detail in that, huh? Alright, to the van we go. Go 
go around the block here. I had to get turned around anyway. We're going to head out Highway 50. Big old courthouse, all brick. Quite a bit of detail. Look at the size of that tree. When I, hundreds of years that is. Still going to. That is huge. Big grand staircase going up into it. Standing the test of time, isn't it? Pretty good sized town. I've never been through this way. I've never taken 50 this far down. About four years ago, I drove 50 on the other end of Colorado around Pueblo and Salida and those places. You know, I think this is the Elks building, too. It sure is. I'm an Elk member. I'll be darned. Got all the colorful flowers going. Heck yeah. <laughs> Look at that guy. Statues everywhere. Montrose, Colorado. Well, let's do a few miles. Head on down the road. You know, uh, I was reading online, Highway 50 closes during the week at night. Oh, cool. There's a movie theater here. I haven't been to a movie in years. I don't know why. I just can't sit that long. <laughs> the world's changed. Everything's on YouTube. Including us, RV or TV. We're going into the sun. We've got a few miles to do. We're going to go find that uh, Blue Lake Mesa. It's supposed to have a dam reservoir there, campground. Then all the way into Gunnison. Gunnison has a huge museum, and they are open on Sundays. Yay! Pretty ride through here, kind of wide open. We're climbing up a little mountain here now. This is called Ciro Summit. It's supposed to be camping up here. Probably four wheeling, all that. But look at that view, isn't that gorgeous? There's looking back down towards Montrose. There's some of the trails. You can boondock here. As far as you can see, all green. There's Highway 50. Oh, check this out. Look at the size of this uh, lake. Guarantee you catch uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in that thing, huh? Look at that. Pretty fast paced road. Speed limit 65. 
not too much traffic yet. We're going to hit some major road construction where they close it on the weekdays. Up that direction is the Black Canyon and Gunnison's National Park. Stretches uh, quite a ways, big old canyon up there. But even right here along Highway 50, we got our own canyon we're driving through. Very pretty, very scenic. little hazy there's fire smoke in the air from fires from all over around the country look how green now it is The Gunnison River flows through here, which creates all this. Well, I think we're getting closer to where all that construction is. Back in Montrose, you see billboards with all this, how they close Highway 50 with major construction. During the week, weekday nights, and on the weekends, it's totally open. So I kind of timed it out to where we'd cut through here on a Sunday. Still a pretty drive. Good old Highway 50, you know, coast to coast. From Sacramento, clear to Baltimore, Baltimore Maryland. I've never been on this stretch of it though. Ooh, look at this. This must be it. Wow, this is narrow through here, huh? They're widening it. I'd say they're shoring up the rock. Speaking of traffic, there's a ton of it. I got a bunch behind me. Looks like we're going to lose our pavement. Yay, back to pavement. <laughs> Everything inside the van was rattling. There's the Blue Mesa Lake, part of the Gunnison River, too. And this is where we turn. Supposed to be a campground stuff down here. I thought about staying here, but I want to go all the way into Gunnison.
This is called Lake Fork Campground. Ooh, got a boat launch. Huge lake. It, when you look at it on the map, this thing goes a long ways. You could reserve sites online when I was looking at it. I looked at this yesterday when I was at that KOA. But I want to do the museum in Gunnison. So for timing, I figured we'll stay, spend the night in Gunnison. There's a dam over there. We'll drive over. Why not, huh? Boating, fishing. Plus there's a road you can take. It takes you back towards Gunnison. It's like 40 miles long. I think it's dirt road. I forget the trail. Maybe we'll see it when we're over at the dam. And there's a bridge down that way we'll have to cross when we're heading out of here. Pretty place. At least we got blue sky. It's heating up though. You can feel the heat coming on. This wouldn't be bad at all for overnight restrooms maybe two nights that'd be it though parking on pavement Here's the Blue Mesa Dam, I think they call it. Drive across. Oh wow, there's a big canyon off to the left. That is way down there. Let me go get parked. We'll walk back out here. Nice parking area. Got a little restroom here. So you got a little day use area. See a storyboard or two. Perfect. Dam. That water looks clean, doesn't it? Probably perfect fishing. That's deep here, though. That's quite a drop. Let's go check it out. Huge earthen dam. Look at that rock. Wow. Wonder when they constructed this thing. They're generating power down there out of this, too. Cool. There's a dirt road down there with a road grader. And there's your Gunnison River. Very pretty place. There's that road. I was reading about. It cuts you back up into the hills. So this wouldn't be bad at all. You could camp over the campground or just come here for a day use. 
Pretty. Oh, cool. Here it is. West Elk Loop Scenic Byway. That's what I was reading about. So you can really go a long ways up in the hills here. Crest length, 1,800 feet, power plant, 98 megawatt. Look at that spillway tunnel diameter, 21 feet, 341 feet tall. Wow. You live here, you'd never run out of water, would you? Cool. Well, that shows you just how long it is, too. Oh, there's three dams. Look at that. I didn't even know. Huh. Okay. So there's three dams that create all this. Interesting. Well, what do you say? Let's head on into Gunnison. I stopped here. I was trying to figure a decent place as a stop, kind of check out along route US Highway 50. We're not that much farther into Gunnison. The whole trip today is less than 70 miles. Quite a few fishing boats out there. Looks like they got some alcoves from the main lake. One thing about Colorado, there is plenty to do and see, especially for outdoor activity. Here's the main bridge. A little boat scooting right along, gonna go right underneath us. He's in a hurry to go catch that next big fish. Very pretty scenic drive, even with the construction. I mean, oh well. That was even pretty in that area. Just all, road was all beat up. And there are all kinds of recreation areas and camping through here. When you look at it on the maps, you can spot them. So you could camp, fish, boat, whatever, to your heart's content here. For more information on my travels, go to my website, rvrtv.tv. Be sure to sign up for the free newsletter. I put one out twice a month on the 5th and the 20th. There you'll get current information on upcoming travels, all kinds of cool stuff. Plus I have free screensaver downloads on the website. You can sign up for those. Everything is free. Then also I have merch, hats, t-shirts, cookbooks, coloring books, all that cool stuff. And it helps support future travel and the channel. And I greatly appreciate it. Once again, it's RVRTV.TV. Well, I'd say we're getting near the end of the lake here.
and we should be in town shortly. Welcome to Gunnison, Colorado. Once again, another historic old town. Mining history, all of it right in here. It's supposed to have a really cool downtown area. I thought we'd walk it before we hit the museum. Made it. And look at this right to the right. Perfect perfect parking some of the best days to get down here uh, in these towns is on Sunday well we'll take a little stroll through downtown Gunnison on a Sunday morning that traffic really picked up as soon as I got through that road construction, we left Blue Mesa Lake. Oh man, floodgates open with traffic. Cool architecture, the old style brick buildings, big glass windows. Isn't that neat? Well, we'll stroll down a block or two. See what it's like to walk the streets of Gunnison. Small town USA with the flower pots hanging. Aren't those gorgeous? Colorful. like an art gallery, antique shop maybe, huh? <laughs> Very well done. Welcome. Okay, thank you. More flowers, ah. They smell so good. Looks like a lot of this been kind of restored. Ooh, need a guitar? Music shop here, huh? Well, looks like uh, you wait in line to get in and get something to eat. Black Country Cafe, probably really good food. Another restaurant there, huh? Pretty cool. Oh wow, look at that mural. We gotta go check that out. Must be their little town park. Small town USA right here. Gunnison, that's a pretty fancy mural. Very impressive detail. Quite an artist did this one. Well, what do you say? We'll head back to the van, go find that museum. Very nice downtown area, very historic, plenty of shops. 
That food sure smelled good. People going in those restaurants. Nice fountain going there. Museum's right up here on the right. Got a airport back there. Huge park. All right, what do you say? Let's go check out a museum. This place is huge. Well, let's go on in. You're not going to believe this. 29 buildings. My goodness. <laughs> it's getting hot, too. Well, ready to go for a walk? <laughs> Let's do it. It's like a whole village set up out here, she said. Nice volunteers. Plus, they're adding more buildings. They're still adding on to this thing. So you just stroll through, check out each building. It's supposed to represent a little town. Tons of railroad history in Colorado, isn't there? Like the Durango Silver Silverton uh, train. Wasn't that museum cool? Check out that video if you get a chance. Hey, we can go up in here. What do they got? Oh, movie playing. Give you some of the history about Gunnison. Ooh, it's hot in here. The Gunnison River went right down a valley. There you go. All about Gunnison. Even got their own water tower tank. My goodness. Huge effort goes into these uh, small town museums. But for a small town, they got a big one. It must be their train depot. I mean, look at all the rail cars and a water tank. Well, come on in, get a ticket. Old pictures, probably uh, from this area, I'm sure. There's your train schedule. Look at the old phones, huh? <laughs> Sergeant. Elevation 8478. Cool. What we got in here? All oh, the old luggage. They got a lot of old antiques in here. But it's hot. Let's go outside. What do we got in here? Videos, phonographs, quite a collection. 
there's the jukebox. Never see that stuff anymore, huh? They got about everything you can think of. There's even old china and dishes. Probably a lot of this stuff was donated by the locals, I bet. Supposed to have a bunch of cars up here, too. Next building. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Oh, wow. Model trains. Hey, who's that guy? <laughs> That is something. I mean, for a small town, this is, town isn't that big to have a museum of this size. What was it to get in here? Twelve dollars, I think. Well worth it. Help support it. Wow. Just anything and everything you can think of. Quilts. What's this? Black Nat. Oh, post office. Check your mail. There's old George Washington. Handwritten notes, ledgers. There's an old time uh, crane. And more buildings. <laughs> schoolhouse so they moved a lot of this stuff on this property classrooms wood desk teacher up there old one room schoolhouse That's quite the collection. Check these guys online. Gunnison Museum. That is quite a collection. In the shade, it isn't bad. In the sun, it's pretty warm. Still better in Arizona. Arizona is cooking right now. They're what Phoenix broke records of so many days in a row of 110 or more. Okay, here we go. Antique cars. Oh, wow. That lady, uh, the volunteer, when I checked in, she was really bragging on their car collection. She's right. They've been adding to the, she said, make sure you go, there's a firewall back here. You got to go through the door. There's more. <laughs> make sure you don't miss any. 
very well done. My goodness, colorful. These guys have been restored. Hey, even got a bulldozer in here. Old Jeep. Absolutely perfect. Wow. They must have a car show, I bet, maybe, or something here, too. This would definitely attract uh, car shows. A lot of these small towns, they got their little summer festivals. And My goodness. Pretty darn cool. It's not hot in here like the other buildings. One after another, it's just endless on cars. Kind of reminds me of that Murdo, uh, South Dakota one. Oh, here's our door. Let's go on in. Yay. Oh, <laughs> she wasn't kidding. There is more cars. So if you're a car buff, just this alone is worth coming in here. Check this museum just for cars. A little bit of everything in here. But they're saving history. This is all history. They're saving it. Hopefully people will appreciate it. There it is. There's their end in July. End of July they got a car show. Knew it. Well, what do you say? Let's go outside and we'll keep exploring around here a little bit. Oh no. The horse drawn hearse. Yikes. <laughs> and this one's supposed to be the brewery. Coors Beer, Colorado's own Coors Beer. All about beer. They got all their signs, neon signs. Different bottles. They got beer mugs and steins. So if you're into beer, here you go. <laughs> Too bad they don't have a cold beer in a hot day, huh? Quite a collection of belt buckles. And of course, how about all the tap handles? Wow. That must be one of their new buildings, or she said they're uh, putting more in. Well, what do you say we'll wander our way back to where we started? The 
perfect house, huh? Old washboards. <laughs> Washing machines. I don't think they've missed anything putting in the, this museum. Oh, goodness. Dining room. Remember when people used to sit around and actually eat dinner together? An old phone telephone operator listening in on your call. <laughs> what do we got here? Like a coal room, huh? A lot of this wood looks kind of new. They. They've done it well. I know I keep saying it, but pretty impressive. Here's the sewing machine building. Looks like every brand and antique machine you can think of. Need an iron? Do people even iron their clothes anymore? Pretty cool posters. Wow. Time spinning wheel. That's quite a can collection there. Being a replica city, I mean, or town, I guess, not city. What am I thinking? People could live here. <laughs> Old time tractors. Look at that sleigh. Yeah, you get snow here. Wagon wheels. That'd be one cold ride in the snow, huh? Old time snowmobile, huh? <laughs> Ooh, we got stairs. Let's go up. Building is pretty well constructed. Lanterns, bottles. You name it, it's here. There's an old sled. I had a sled when I was a kid. Looks like a some kind of grinder. Oop, here's our view. Shows you the size of this place. Look at that. My goodness. There's a few acres here. I would consider this a museum and a park. You can hear uh, planes taking off. The uh, airport's right behind here. A lot of commuter flights. I 
about some rocks, huh? Just like quartzite. Go for a buggy ride. Back in the day, that was it. Hey, bicycles. Those are the ones you actually have to pedal. <laughs> I'm spoiled anymore with all the e-bikes. Wide pedal and you can hit the throttle, huh? Wow, big old photographs. Just back in the day, huh? Everyone wore a hat. All the people on horseback. Different times, huh? Here's a runway to the airport. It's huge. Keep hearing a lot of planes taking off. Well, here's a general store. Get your groceries. Get all your supplies. Now there's a chunk of quartz. I'd like to find a gold nugget that big right next to it. <laughs> Where there's quartz, there's usually gold. What we got in here? Tractor room. Equipment looks like what generators, compressors, probably old farm truck. Some of these buildings are huge. I mean, it just keeps going. How about a printing room? Old time printing presses. What a eye for, cl there's gotta be more of a story to this museum. To have this much of a collection in a town the size of Gunnison. It's just endless. My goodness. I mean, it's everything you could think of. Those, that's quite a collection right there, just beer steins. Hello, operator. That was the real deal back in the day. No cell tower there, huh? <laughs> Need a piano? My goodness. Old 
portrait photos back in the day. Little harps. Huh. Oh yeah, gotta have Mickey Mouse collection. <laughs> Disney stuff. Wow. Telephones. Not just a couple of them, I mean walls of it. Dial-up phone. Kids nowadays wouldn't even know what to do. You could literally spend days here. in a museum like this. This really reminds me of that museum I visited a couple years ago in Murdo, South Dakota, where they just had absolutely building after building of everything in it. Not one or two buggies, how about a dozen? Well, we've covered quite a bit of this place. I looked in most of the buildings. But like I said earlier, it is like a park. It's park and museum. Wherever you look, something to see. Well, there's uh, some more inside the building that we came in. Head on in there. Uh, nothing happened here in 1897. Here you go. I found my room. The cameras. Look at all those. I might have even had one or two of those through the years. Just incredible. Everything in this place. Oh man, this is upstairs. Man, oh man. Well, I'm sure glad I came here. And they were open. Kind of got the place to myself. Very, very well done. Definitely come here to Gunnison uh, Museum. Oh, wait, there's more. Didn't hit this room. Oh, here's the gun room. And more guns. Some of them things look brand new, as old as they are. Well, definitely one for the memory books, this one. Pioneer Museum, Gunnison. It is so well worth the money. If you like looking at old stuff, spending a day. Most of the buildings, uh, they're nice and cool. I mean, a couple of them are a little warm, but it's a hot, hot time of year.
But those big buildings, uh, good ventilation. Well, here's the Gunnison River. Look at that, they got rafters. Do a raft ride here, right along the river. Water's really flowing, that's clean, cold water. Come out of the mountains. Quite a cool trip today, leaving Montrose, coming over here. Once again, it was only 70 miles. US 50, kind of busy road, but it was okay. We got to see uh, Blue Mesa Lake. What's this? Some kind of statue. That's a wood carving. Tomorrow we keep heading east on US 50 and then we're gonna truck north. Way up in the mountains, way up. Good morning, we're continuing on U.S. Highway 50, heading east. Blue sky and open road. But we're in for a treat, we're going to go over a huge mountain pass called Monarch Pass. We're going to be over 11,000 feet. U.S. Highway 50 is one of the most scenic drives you can take through this area. And we're climbing pretty quick, but look at how beautiful it is. It's early morning, sun's just getting up. Once we get up a little farther, I'll find a place to pull off and we'll check out the view a little bit because we are way up in the mountains now. It's a long ways over that edge. <laughs> a lot of trees on this uh, pass too. Very pretty. This would be something to come over in the winter, huh? I bet they close it. Probably skiing up here, all kinds of cool stuff. We should be getting fairly close. Wasn't Gunnison cool in that museum? What a great little trip through there. Well, I've passed a couple pullouts. We'll go up a little farther. Hopefully, I can catch one. I'm trying to get the perfect spot so we can see the view. Because there's a big one off to the right. Camera's not picking it up. Hey, hey, here it is. Cool. We gotta be getting close top, too. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Colorado is no disappointment to drive through, especially the western side. Mountains and valleys and rivers. Yeah, it's a long ways down there. Looks like here they just kept pushing off dirt and rock. Make this pole out. The sea of trees, there's the road. Cut right inside of the mountain, huh? Been there for a test of time. perfect stop. Miles wise it's not that far. I mean we, I left Gunnison at uh, right when the sun was coming up. Actually I'm going to go a little farther than I intended to get to the Royal Gorge Bridge because uh, tomorrow we're going to head up north. We're going to go up to a town called Fairplay way up in the mountains up that direction. It's going to be straight north. I think we're right up here at the top. Yep. We made it. Yay. <laughs> Here it is, and there's that visitor center. Might have to wait about 20 minutes for it to open, according to the phone here. Woohoo! Look at this, 11,300 feet. We're on the Continental Divide. Yeah, we got about 20 minutes before that opens over there. Sun's just coming over top. And there's our scenic ride. We just took a scenic ride all the way up here. <laughs> then all those vans. This is Van Central. And we'll give the RV or TV van its own little selfie here with the sign. It says, I just made it up this mountain, 11,000 feet. Well, while we're waiting for that to open, Let's check out this side, the Atlantic side. There you go. I'm sure this is snowmobile and skiers heaven in the winter time. What a place to come up to. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like they got a webcam up here. A couple of them. A lot of these mountain passes anymore, you can check them online. Uh, Department of Transportation probably runs it. 
Okay, I think they're opening up that uh, visitor center. Why don't we pop in there real quick, see what it is. Yeah, half the building's the Atlantic, the other half's the Pacific. Cool topographical layout there, the whole valley and pass. They got a little dining room in here. Get something to eat. More cool pictures. They sell. It's a pretty big gift shop is basically what this is. A lot of hiking stuff. T-shirts, all that. They got maps. Pretty cozy. Adventure by nature, so this is definitely worth a little stop. Look at that, even a giveaway for a motorcycle. Well, we'll head back towards the van. I want to get out to that bridge before it gets too hot. You can see all the stuff they have for sale. And there's your picture chair. You sit right in it. Made out of skis. Pretty clever, actually. A little bit of history about the area in here, too. Pretty cool. Well, what do you say? Let's head down the mountain. What's the old saying? It's all downhill from here. <laughs> Here we go. Probably most people that live in Colorado, they're just used to snow and driving in it and chaining up this part of it. Of course, you'd have to like it too. Arizona, it gets its fair share of snow up around Flagstaff and up in the eastern part, White Mountains, all that. What a pretty ride through here, those US 50 over Monarch Pass. And there's a cool look out of there rear view cam the cameras are GoPros that I mount on the van I get asked often what kind of cameras I use mainly they're GoPros iPhone I do have a Canon XA50 I sometimes use, but most of it's GoPro. Wow, we are dropping quick. Pretty steep grade. Be a slow ride in RV climbing. There's a pretty good sized ski lodge. All right, we're getting into, I think it's Poncha Springs and Salida. Oh yeah, I remember this intersection coming up up here. Four years ago, 
right at this intersection, this is where I dropped south. I came across Highway 50 from Pueblo to here, right where that gar car there is going straight. It's the direction I took. I was heading back to Arizona back then. That was uh, actually that was in the month of August, four years ago. Pretty ride. But we're not going that direction. We're just getting going on our travels. We're basically just going to drive through this area, keep on trucking. Uh, once we get up a little farther up 50, if I remember right, there's... Uh, cool places that we can stop. Maybe we'll catch a rafter right along the Arkansas River. But once again, I really want to get to that Royal Bridge. Still early morning, but I'd like to make it there before noon and beat the heat because I bet it's going to be hot there. Oh yeah, here we go. I remember this. This is just a beautiful ride. winds right along the river one big canyon here there's railroad tracks that follow along through here too there are some day use areas and uh, pretty good access where you get close to the river there are some rafters look at that they're fishing too Hopefully we'll catch rafters up here and uh, that's always fun to see. Fast paced road, you can't go too slow. It's kind of hard to film so I'll catch what I can. But isn't this cool? If you ever get a chance, drive this section. I think it was Cannon City, something like that, where you kind of get out of the mountains. But that's right where the Royal Gorge is. Royal Gorge Bridge. It's supposed to be uh, quite the attraction. There's a few campgrounds through here, but most of it was day use, if I remember right. I'll keep looking. We'll find a place here shortly and pull off. I need a break anyway. There's another guy fishing. Yep, right here. Cool. What do you say? You want to stop? Heck yeah. <laughs> Take a break. Check out the river. Oh, they got restrooms here. Storyboard. But bighorn sheep, I bet. 
They got a river. Them guys can really climb uh, the cliffs too. Isn't this cool? I got the whole place to myself. I need to buy a pass. I think there's fees for this. What's this say? Yep. Only need a daily. That'll work. Buy annual passes. Which is good. It keeps this stuff going. Ten bucks for a day. That'll work. What's this? Oh, wow. That's a cool map. Arkansas Headwaters Recreation Site Canyon Trading Post Recreation Site. Day use only. That is a real good map. Highway 50, it's one of the best. Goes a long ways, coast to coast. Sacramento to Baltimore, I think. And more information. Oh, they got a boat launch here. Huh. So you got a canoe. Kayak, rubber raft, probably rafters. Huh? There's your Arkansas River. This is a nice little break. I need it. We did a few miles already. We don't have that much farther to go to get up to the Royal Gorge. Royal Gorge Bridge. They kind of built that into the hill there a little bit. Flat roof. Probably gets buried in snow, huh? <laughs> Ooh, let's find that boat ramp. Here it is. Well, that's pretty good access. So you drop your raft up here. Tension boaters. There's a map. The river. Safety stuff. So you drop your raft here if you had two vehicles. Park one downstream. Where you go. They probably got services. There's uh, rafting companies. But that's huge business there. Nice clean water. Where's that gold nugget? Should have brought my gold pan. Huh? You never know. That's a cool stop. But there's a few of these pull out day use areas, if I remember right. Ten bucks gets you in all of them. That's not bad. But 
Definitely a little slice of heaven through here. Too bad we didn't see one of those bighorn sheep up there in the mountain. Those guys can climb. It's unbelievable. That's the direction we're going. Uh, when we get a little farther down river, uh, we'll stop. Maybe we can uh, find a raft or two before we make it to the, all the way to the Royal Bridge, Royal Gorge. Miles wise, it's not that far, really. Who cares what scenery? <laughs> There's your Kodak moment. Picture perfect for a postcard right there. I keep seeing rafters down in the river. I guess I'll have to add a side camera to the van here pretty soon. Doesn't matter, it's a pretty ride no matter where you're looking here. Huh? I've seen a couple school buses pulling uh, rubber rafts full of people. There's a, another rafter right there. So they're getting out in the river. Maybe if we get up here a little ways we can stop and we'll catch a couple of them coming down. That'd be fun. And perfect in this hot weather. Oh my goodness. For more information on my travels, go to RVRTV.TV. Be sure you sign up for the free newsletter. We're putting it out twice a month, right around the 5th and the 20th. We're growing the list and we're working very hard on coming up with a better newsletter. I'm trying to put out more current information, future travels, pictures, puzzles. Also, while you're in the website, check out all of the merch. We got t shirts, hats, cookbooks, coloring books, puzzles, you name it, it's in there. Once again, it's rvertv.tv, and I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. There's a side view. I'll just hold the camera. How's that? Cliffs are starting to get a little smaller. We're getting farther on. Shouldn't be too much farther up to the gorge, but I'd sure like to stop one more time up here. Look at that rock formation. Now that's cool. That is real cool. Right along the road, right along US 50 here. I just seen a sign. I think we can stop up here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at all the rafts. Look at them. They're busting them in. But check this out, huh? There's a overlook up here that we can see the river. Kind of walked it a little bit first. There you go, rafting on the Arkansas River in Colorado. Bet that water's nice and cool. Wait to see this view up here. Now there's some rapids for you. We ought to be seeing some uh, rafters come down through here. Those guys were having fun, huh? Look at the sunflower. Try a different spot up here. They sure go by quick, don't they? My goodness. They have been doing, what, 20? At least 20 miles an hour. Too cool for school. What a cool stop. All them guys are having fun. They even had a guide driving the boat, steering it in the back. Water was so loud you couldn't hear him, but he was shout, shouting out to him, telling him to hang on. <laughs> Fun little stop, but guess what? We got a bridge to go see.
air conditioner feels good in a van. But you know, getting right next to the water, it was cool. As soon as you get away from it, it heat picks up. We're getting right around, uh, it's after 11 now. I didn't think it'd take me this long to get over here, but we've been stopping. Still worth it. Not too much farther at all. Got it here on the phone, program. Once we turn off though, it's a good four miles back to the bridge off uh, US 50. Yay, here's our turn off. We made it. We actually passed uh, Highway 9, which we're gonna take tomorrow up the fair play I'm actually gonna spend the night there's a little RV park just past this exit here I'm gonna spend the night but first we're gonna go check out this bridge Royal Gorge very high bridge it was built for basically tourism. It's owned by the city, I believe. Of it is. It's about four miles back in here. Looks like we're here. Another little day use area. Restrooms, here's the gates. Motorhome RV park, and I better take that. Vans 24 feet. Yep, this will work. left of a building there looks like it just the frame what's this here's looks like all their administration building maintenance there's a few RVs here Well, it's a little bit of a walk. That's all right. And that is hot. <laughs> That's all I'll say. It's hot. I should have got here earlier. Oh, well. We're here. Yeah, last time I drove right past this place four years ago. Everyone said, oh, we should have stopped seeing the big bridge. Well, we're doing it this time. Well, kind of got some sticker shock. $35. This is... I don't know. I mean, I just got the basic you walk <laughs> ticket. If you want to ride to all their Skyway stuff, you can wrap up close to 100 bucks here per person. That's okay. We're here. Wow, look at this. This is uh, the Colorado version of their own Grand Canyon probably, huh? That is way down there. Oh, there's a river. Cool. My ticket included a ride on that one, but there's no way I'm 
standing, it's over an hour wait to get on that thing in 100 degree weather. I'd say, uh, we say we'll take a little stroll. <laughs> like food stands you can get something to eat and drink here wow here's a bridge that is something huh there's all the cables that are holding this span well welcome to the Royal Gorge Bridge Check this off the bucket list. Are you allowed to walk out there? Oh yeah, please do. That security guard had the right idea in front of that big fan. There's like a little uh, deck here. Look at this thing. Whoa. <laughs> it's like a rail track down there. Probably from mining cars or something. The history here goes way back way back. Got to have mining history here. Look at that view. That is, that's kind of like its own little Grand Canyon here. My goodness. How cool is this? See, there's that track. Cool. Cool. What we got here, big sign, Royal Gorge. Wow, a thousand foot down to the water, over a thousand, 6,600 uh, feet elevation. Pretty cool. Eighteen hundreds were the first explorers through here. My goodness. Now it's like a big park. Wood deck. And there's your view. They called it the Arkansas Canyon. That is something. Bet the wind really whips this thing. That's a lot of wires on it. Looks like all the flags of the states, maybe. We're going to walk across it. I'll walk across the other side. Hey, tractor. I missed my ride. I'd rather walk it. Got to say you walk across this thing a thousand feet in the air. <laughs> a hot day. Pretty cool. Okay, here we go. I talked to that real nice security guy named Jim. A lot of information. He 
He's worked here a long time. He's come out here as a kid. Those rails that we've seen back on that overlook, they used to have cars that operated up and down through there. You could actually ride <laughs> a car all the way down to the bottom. There's your river with the railroad track. I wonder if rafters, I bet rafters will go down through there. Pretty. It's quite a ways across this thing. We're getting out near the middle. You can feel it bouncing <laughs> and vibrate. Yeah, I bet in the winds, this thing can really whip around. It just hanging there. It's a suspension bridge. What a view. All right, well, we're almost out to the middle. You can see the cables are dipping down. It's a little bouncier out here, too. But what a view, both sides, a thousand feet. That's incredible. Definitely quite a view. It's a huge attraction. They attract people probably year round. Max speed will give you a little uh, guess. Yeah. yeah. You have a. Is middle of the bridge. Established 1929. Goodness. Almost a hundred years now. It's hot. I'm going to find me a nice cold bottle of water when I get over here. I just don't know which side to look over. <laughs> now you really got a clear shot of the view, though, out here in the middle. So they must haul supplies over here in vehicles. Unless there's a road that comes in over here. Need a ride back. They probably charge for it. Thirty-five dollars, though. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Hi. How you doing? Sir? It. <laughs> Across the Royal Gorge Bridge, a thousand feet in the air. Well, what else we got? Wow, look at them cables. Those things are anchored, aren't they? Those are seriously anchored. Well, 
I just bought me a cold bottle of water. Got a little bench to sit on here. Check out the view. Looks a little different from this side. Gorgeous flowers growing here. I'll tell you, Colorado has it all. Very cool. Some kind of a theater. It is just too hot to go in there. I'm going to start making my way back. They got a restaurant over here. You can sit outside and get something to eat. Oh, look at this flower growing out of the rock. <laughs> One little lonely flower. <clears throat> well, that cart's going the wrong way. <laughs> Okay, let's hike back over. No sense waiting too long, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Back across the Royal Gorge Bridge. That swing goes way out. I know you could buy tickets to go on it. That's yeah, for young people. Well, kind of one last look here. Huh? Here's a good view from here. back. I can hear that air conditioner kicking on in the van right now. <laughs> That's quite a little climb out of there. There's some clocks giving you different times. And inside it's just one big massive gift shop where you buy your tickets and everything. So. Well, the RV park I'm staying at is right out on the main highway, just about a mile past where we turned off to come in here, so it's close. And I definitely need hookups tonight so I can run my air conditioner. 
fun trip, fun day. Wasn't that Monarch Pass cool coming over 11,300 feet? This is Highway 9. We're leaving the Highway 50 down there at Royal Gorge area, Royal Gorge Bridge. We're heading north. We're going to go up to Fair Play, Colorado today. Short drive up here, less than 80 miles, but we're climbing an elevation. We'll be at right around the 10,000 feet, and guess what? It'll be cooler. Yay. <laughs> so that's the goal today. It's supposed to have a really cool museum. It's like a walking town tour museum. Colorado doesn't disappoint though, my goodness. Every mile we've done here recently, just been scenic, beautiful, mountains, roads, towns, all of it. Really been enjoying this trip. Should be a fun little day, heading up here to Fair Play. So sit back, enjoy the ride, we'll be up there shortly. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Got behind a truck. We'll be up there in a little while. Just joking. Very pretty ride through here and good road too. I enjoyed that uh, Royal Gorge Bridge. That was uh, pretty unique. It was extremely hot walking that thing. Hot everywhere in this summer. The heat is on. A lot of farms down through this valley here. What a place to live, huh? Just rolling mountains, tree covered, big open fields. Not too many big towns around here. I'm not sure about Fair Play, how big it is. I don't think, didn't look that big on uh, Google Maps. There's our view from the rear cam. Road construction with a traffic light. Yay. <laughs> Humans. I haven't seen Hardly any traffic. This road's been pretty good to film. You know, some of these highways are so fast-paced. It's hard. So we caught the red light here on uh, Highway 9. These guys really have a short window to get their uh, roads in uh, repair, huh? Snow, ice, they beat up roads pretty good. Nice place to have to work though. <laughs> a job with a view. All right, 
keep on trucking. Well, I'm just going to let the cameras roll. If we see something good, we'll stop. Now you can see what it's like through here. Big open area, just gorgeous. Nice and green, even with the heat. Gorgeous Colorado mountains. What a pretty state. Especially the west side, east side, it gets a little flats and plains and all that. A lot of farmland. A lot of mining up here too. cool little town look at the phone here this is called heart cell looks like we got a dog leg over a few miles and stay on highway 9 we're not that far this whole trip today's uh, about 70 miles I need to stop here a minute we got a change out the batteries and the cameras this looks good and I'll walk around a second old abandoned gas station over there not much here what's this South Park Mercantile Pretty cool old building now, huh? Let's do this. We'll do a drive through. There's an old church back there. See what we can find. Also, I spotted like a teepee or something back here. Kind of just a cool little small town though, isn't it? There's your church on the right. See that teepee? Wonder if they rent it out. Oh, look at this. Fire. are busy there's our fire department back here this little crossroads town but they're busy that fire department on two highways like this well cool what do you say we'll just head on into fair play time we get there I still early. That museum doesn't open to like 9 or 10. So we should time it out pretty good time we get up fair play. Yeah, I wonder what they do with that TP. Huh. Cool.
I don't need fuel. I filled up uh, last night before I parked. That RV park I stayed at last night was pretty good. Down there, Royal Gorge. Alright, our turn off should be up here pretty quick. Right now we're on US Highway 24. Two ro roads joined together. Highway 9's a Colorado road. This looks like it. And according to Google Maps on my phone, we're only 18 miles, not very far. Look how flat it got. We're way up in elevation. Flat as a pancake here. Okay, should be up in fair play before we know it. Those mountains over there, you can see snow, see patches of snow left. So it's still melting. That's got to be way up. Way, way up there. Rocky Mountains. Colorado's famous for it. Just like the old song, huh? <laughs> Made it. Yay. Welcome to Fair Play, Colorado. There's an RV park. I booked a site for tonight. We're going to do some exploring around here. Spend the day. I figured it'd be kind of cool. Check it out. There's an old time town. I'm going to go ahead and top off full of fuel. So in the morning, I'll be ready to rock and roll. This looks like good as any. Still have a little bit of time to kill before that museum opens. So maybe we'll just kind of explore around town a little bit. Wow, they really got this all tore up. Tis the season, that time of year. They're doing bridge work here. Straight off to the right, that's where that RV park is. Grocery store there on the right. I think I just goofed. I think I needed to make a left there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do the right turn. We'll turn around. Well, we'll see what's up this way. <laughs> Elevation here is supposed to be close to 10,000 feet, and it is much cooler. Yay! Yeah, I think I'm getting out of town. Let me turn around. Well, pretty cool uh, wood sculptures there. Denver, only 80 miles. We're getting uh, quite a ways in Colorado now. Okay, now we got it. <laughs> I was doing a little more sightseeing than paying attention where I was supposed to go. Go 
back to this traffic light. We're going to make a right and we should end up in downtown Fair Play. Here we go. There's the sign. I seen that sign on uh, Google Maps, Fair Play. Well, what do you say? Let's explore around here. There's a river off to the left. There's the cafe. Well, I will park up here. Huge parking areas along the side of the road here. Walk around a little bit. According to the maps here, the museum's up a few blocks, but they're not open yet. Let's check out this area and then we'll head up museum. Ah, oh, it's nice getting out of that van. Needed to walk. We're racking up some miles this summer, aren't we? Busy street, that's for sure. Old style buildings. Mining history here, well, all of Colorado, all the mountains here. Just full of mines. Probably still going too. It's a pretty cool looking church. We'll go check that. Wow, that's an old timer, huh? South Park Community Church. That is something, huh? Let's see what this sign says here. 1872. Whoa. Still going. Pretty good. Well, I'm going to make my way back towards the van a little bit and then, uh, check that museum. Should, it's getting close. Should be open in about 15 minutes. There's their health care. Colorful little town. All the buildings are different colors. Real estate. I'd like to live up here. Almost every town we've been in, even New Mexico, they all have to plant their flowers. That's a lot of work doing that. They sure look good, smell good too. Kind of a log style type building there. Probably all restored.
Bear Play Guitar Shop. We seen another guitar shop. Where was that? Back in Gunnison. Well, pretty good low exercise. I needed to walk. A ton of driving. There's a historic district back there. We'll check that. Well, what do you say? Let's uh, head for that museum. Look at that American Legion breakfast. Bet that would be good. That's definitely a small town where the Legion puts on breakfast. Probably could have almost walked up here. <laughs> Looks like a park on the right. Another old building, and it should be right here to the left. Now this is a whole mini town, kind of like the one we did in uh, Gunnison. And parking lot's empty, so I'm we'll be the first one here. Yay! Well, I think that's it right there. South Park City Museum. It's open. This is an entire town laid out. A lot of these buildings have been brought in, but some are original. From schoolhouses to mining to barber shops. They give you a huge map. It's all self guided. We just start walking the paths. <laughs> How cool is this? I mean, look at this map. This is bigger than the one in Gunnison. Entire town. Well, what do you say? Start trucking through it. Incredible history. Wonder what we'll see. Must be like their church, huh? Old creaky old wood floor. I'll be darned. Some of the original settlers here. Saving history though, that's cool. That must be their, what is this? <laughs> Smokehouse. Smoke all their meats. They didn't have refrigeration back in those days. They had to preserve everything. Entrance. Okay. Ooh, brewery. Put something like this together. These small towns, it, it's... <laughs> it's 
It's amazing. The amount of There's like the one in Gunnison. I mean, these towns aren't that big. Here's your movie theater. Probably gives you the entire history of all this area. Arrowhead Room. pictures, the black and white photos. Those are some of my favorite when I come to these places. Wow, look at that. A lot of mining history. There's the old work tools or old sluice. Gold pans, huh? Then horse collars, <coughs> saddles. We haven't even started yet. We got to go up. This isn't even the town. <laughs> wow. All right, up these creaky stairs. Even got mannequins in there that look real. This is their parlor, playing the piano. There is this picture after picture in here. <clears throat> Dow collection. Wedding dresses. More dolls. And here's the saloon and brewery. <laughs> Making beer. Wow. There's the town there. We gotta walk all that. So a lot of these buildings they brought in over time, they're restoring some more. He said a couple of them are closed. To sharpen your knife. There you go. There's a gift shop here. Plus, there's a historic town area we'll walk down through. I hope I'm going the right way. Yep. that gate is that's the end of it here we go walking the wooden sidewalks they got everything glassed off and protected pretty good Two seconds in there. <laughs> There's the old kitchen. 
what we got back here? Breakfast room, maybe, huh? Wow. Of course, back in them days, they had a formal dining room, then their regular kitchen. Starting to warm up. Sun's coming up. It's getting a little warm here, even at these elevations. What do we got in here? Laundromat. <laughs> That's where you wash your clothes. Ironing boards. Who uses an ironing board? They must have a big staff that thinks of all this stuff just to lay it out. And all the people that donate to this thing. Need to mail a letter? Here you go. Look at the ceiling in this thing. It's wood. That's brand new wood. Sure. You can really smell that new wood. It smells good. There's all your post office boxes. And we're walking. This looks like the mine up here. Well, wouldn't you love to have a cabin that looked like that? Looks like part of mining, you betcha. Gold pans. Wow, look at the size of this place. I think that's the exit. We'll go in the other way. <laughs> They even got their own trains and train depot up here. Old equipment. Is that a compressor? Pump air down in the mines? Is that what they use those for? Ooh, looks like we can actually go in a mine. That's a busy road. Just a constant flow of traffic. Okay, let's go on in. Maybe we'll strike it rich right here. Oh, I forgot my pick and shovel. They had sound effects going of people banging like they're mining in there. <laughs> had to think about what that was for a second. So you bring your ore in here and dump it in this building. Wow. I bet this was a noise box when all that rock was piling through here. This is where you get the good stuff. That's where the gold shakes out. Wonder if they left any nuggets in here. <laughs> Pretty darn amazing. The history of Colorado and mining. Kind of hot in this building. Let's keep on trucking.
pretty important animal back in those days, having a burrow, packing all your gear. Need a buggy? Every museum has one of those hearses. <laughs> And all the wagons. And we made it down here to the end. Yay. We got the Roan Train Depot. Reminds me of that uh, train museum we did in uh, Durango. That was world class. That was beyond belief. Check out that video. Well, important in Colorado. It's the only way to get around in the mountains. There's building after building here. <laughs> Entire town. You could spend a couple days going through this. <laughs> Stage stop. Wow, it's dark in here. Oh, goodness. There we go. Camera had to adjust. Sorry about that. Old pot belly stove. There's all your luggage. Get something to eat. Waiting on the stagecoach. Player piano. These old floors, sometimes you feel like you're going to go through them. How about a blacksmith shop? Got a lot of gear in here. The old forge. Huh. What a collection. And what do we have in door number 20 here? Some of these rooms are kind of dark when you come in them. Looks like all about mining. Mining the mountains. They still are. Huge mines. Go in and get your ore. Striking it rich. Well, the guy that was at the counter when I uh, bought the ticket, he was right. Building after building. Everything has something in it. Here's your, what, classroom. Old wooden desk. Wood stove. Teacher up there. Nowadays, kids go with a cell phone in their own car. <laughs> Looks 
Looks like a little place you can just sit and rest, enjoy it. Coffin maker. Oh no. Here's the undertaker. <laughs> oh goodness. Yikes. In the old pine box. Oh man. <laughs> got in here. Bunch of tools, lanterns. A little bit of everything in this one. Renovation. He said there was a few of them that were closed up. You couldn't go in. General Land Office. All the big maps. Very detailed back in those days. They surveyed it well. Here's your local newspaper. Print them up. All the old printing presses, the way they used to lay out the type. Catalogs. Old time internet there, huh? Beautiful day up here. Still warm, but not bad. A lot better than yesterday. Po was this post office? Thought we already had a post office. Oh, this general store. This is where you come and get all your goodies. Anything and everything. Old time Amazon. <laughs> here drugstore get you a cigar for five cents all the old bottle what a collection I keep saying that I'm sorry but my gosh extremely well done if you come up to fair player be drive through this area definitely stop it's worth it It's not open in the winter time, but I think May 15th it opens up. Old time soda fountain. That's a true old sodas. Wow. This is their gift shop and the exit. <laughs> B 
but you can see, I mean, that goes down a long ways. There's a lot of buildings. Some are being restored, so you can't get in them all, but that's okay. What a look back at the old days, old pioneer days. And, well, oh, it's locked. <laughs> all right, I'll get out of here. the way we came in. What's up? Good. Your exit door was locked. Oh yeah, it doesn't open until 10. Okay. okay. Very much. That's very well done. <laughs> All the nice flowers, well done museum, and of course it's National Register of Historic Places. It should be. My goodness. Well, we say we'll go over and check out Old Town. But if you get a chance, come up check this museum up here in Fairplay. Well, what do you say? We'll walk Old Town. South Park City. That's where we were. There's a museum. That was something. Very something to see. But here's the real town. All their shops. Lost Antler. Pottery. These buildings look like the ones that were in the museum. Probably all kinds of Airbnbs here too. Gift shop. That is colorful, isn't it? Mountain Sun Art. That's a true old building, both those are. Huh? Coffee shop, everything's getting opened up. Getting ready for their busy day here. More arts, antiques, gift shops. There's a distillery. Yay. <laughs> Stop and have a cold one. Local restaurant, I bet they're busy. The old hotel sign. That's original. Wonder if it's haunted, huh? <laughs> Hand hotel. Looks pretty clean. Oh, look at this. Little park. Well, a memorial for a borough. Eighteen 
1969 to 1930. Wow. So there's a lot of little sites here. Front Street River Park. I think we found our favorite fishing spot. Get your waders on and get out there and catch uh, dinner. Look at all those guys. They got their nets out there catching them. Boy, I bet that's good clean water. This elevation. What a pretty place. Well, what do you say? We'll head back towards the van. What a cool old town historic place. Absolutely amazing. Now you can really see the Patches of snow still left up in the mountains. Good old Rocky Mountains of Colorado. There's downtown Fair Play. Look at the river. Not that big of a town, is it? And we're at 10,000 foot elevation. Like 9,900 and change. I mean, it's 10,000 feet up here. You walk around, it's, you can tell the air is thin. You can lose your breath. But in every direction, just gorgeous. Hey, if you get a chance, go to RVRTV.tv, sign up for the free newsletter, check out the website, all kinds of cool stuff, free downloads of screensavers, pictures, got some merch going, t-shirts, coffee cups, hats, coloring books, cookbooks, all kinds of stuff, and help support the channel and this kind of travel. Once again, it's RVRTV.tv. Well, and go find that RV park. Yeah, we've come quite a ways in Colorado. We've got to see quite a bit. All the way from southern, kind of zigzagged our way up through uh, the mountains. Over through uh, Durango and Silverton. Up through Montrose, Gunnison, across Highway 50. Then all the way up here to Fairplay. We're not that far from Denver. Thank you for watching this once in a lifetime video on Colorado. Be sure to check out all my other once in a lifetime videos all across the United States right here on RVRTV. Thanks for watching. Thank you.